The Freak Shop has landed in Los Santos and we're going to be right in the mix. Here's how to complete our first soiree into the Acid Lace world of Dax with First Dose 1, Welcome to the Troop. Completely solo with nothing but low rank weapons and transport. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. So Dax and his troop have moved into Trevor's old market and they're in the process of taking over, but the Lost, like always, have something to say about it. So let's take a look at how we complete the first of the LS Drug Wars missions, Welcome to the Troop. But before we dive in, if you find this helpful, we do lots of Grand Theft Auto Online guides, tips and tricks. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for more content like this. Now before you start on this one, I highly recommend you have full snacks, full armor, a heavy automatic, a grenade launcher, hand grenades, and a fast off-roader or an armored vehicle. I'd normally use an armored Karuma, Duke of Death, or a weaponized Ignis for something like this, but let's roll with a standard open four-wheel drive to keep it a bit more noob-friendly. So once you've joined a public, invite-only, or crew lobby in GTA Online, you'll receive a call from your old business partner, Ron. You know, the one that sold us the hangar, which incidentally is now actually worth your time, but more on that in another video. Head over to the marker in Sandy Shores and head on in where you'll be treated to a cutscene where we'll meet Dax, Luchadora and Labrat. Sound up, this one is a bit of fun. After the cutscene's finished, you'll be dropped onto the balcony roof of the shop with the Lost swarming. Fire off a few grenades to take care of the groups, then grab that rifle and start blasting. It's important to stay undercover as much as possible here. There's a lot of them, so we want to conserve health and armor. Oh, and don't forget to reload regularly. Once your bikers are cleared from your starting position, grab some cover off to the left and take out any stragglers to complete the first wave. After that, head back through the building and over to the the western wall. I found the best position here was the left hand window. Again, lob a few grenades with the launcher and pick off anyone who breaks cover. Remember that gas cans are your friend too. Pick off any stragglers, then head back out to the balcony and off to the right to take care of the final wave. Some gang members might be hidden off to the right too, so you may need to jump the railing once everyone else is done. Head out to the building or, you know, off the side and call in your personal vehicle through the interaction menu. That's M on your keyboard, hold the double squares on on your Xbox or swipe on your PlayStation. Jump in and head off. As you approach the boatyard, pull up to the hill that overlooks the facility itself. Sneak up until you get a line of sight and take out anything you can. Cars, bikes, enemies, anything that'll let you thin the herd. Run or drive down the track and start shooting any remaining bikers. You don't need to clear them all though, just enough to open a path to the RV. When you think you're right, down some snacks and strap on some new armor, if you have any left. Then make a break for it. Jump in the journey too and get the heck out of Dodge. As you head off, bring up the interaction menu again and give yourself a top up if you need to. We'll probably need it. So we're going to get a bit of resistance here, starting with a roadblock. Just um, drive around it. In fact, drive around everything. This machine is slow as a wet week and handles like a pig, so you do not want to be dealing with combat while attempting to drive it. Just stay cool and keep driving. After what feels like an eternity, you'll get back to the shop and collect DAX, then a new marker will appear. Same applies, just keep driving and avoiding any combat unless a lost van gets in front of you and if you have the opportunity to knock a biker off their motorcycle, take it. Head back to the warehouse, not using this way but head back nonetheless and job's done. The mission will finalize itself and drop you back into the lobby. Now at the end of the mission I also received $50,000, that's in addition to the regular mission pay. This is being recorded during launch week so I'm not sure if that's a first time bonus and if it is, whether that's double money too. So so we'll do a bit of a recap after the next round of updates. And that's it for Welcome to the Troop. Check out the link at top right for the next mission in the series or the one down the bottom for some old grumpy gamer goodness. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.